Namaskaram my dear friends. Have you ever thought about learning physics practically? So by the end of this video you will be able to make the definition of Newton's second law of motion by learning it practically. So first of all now suppose we have three objects. Object number 1, 2 and 3. We are naming we are naming them object 1, object 2, object 3. Now they have mass m1, m2 and m3. Now m1 is less than m2 and m2 is less than m3. Means m1 is the smallest mass in this bucket, m2 is the middle mass and m3 is largest mass. So my dear students, here we will find net force acting on the mass object and mass of the object. In order to do that, we will have to do a small experiment. How we can do it? On earth, there will be always a gravity acting upon the object. So how we can overcome this gravity in order to do this experiment? So for that, we will simply go into space, ISS, International Space Station. Now I don't have that budget, so I will use one video to explain it. In that video, mass of the object M1 is smallest, M2 is middle and M3 is largest mass. So let's start it. Being our bungee cord here, we'll put it on our bungee and we'll pull it back. And you can see how. Put our spaceship on our launcher here, same spot. Pull back the same amount on the force, and here we go. And there you have it. Now, as you saw in the video, this object M1 has highest acceleration m2 has middle one and m3 has smallest acceleration in entire experiment so a2 will a1 will be greater than a2 and a2 will be greater than a3 so now what we can conclude from this equation or this experiment f is proportional to m and a is inversely proportional to M. So we can write something like this 1 by A. So M into A will be constant and our final equation will be F equals to M into A. So this was our small experiment in order to prove Newton's second law of motion. So how we can now define this? Net force acting on the object depends on the mass of the object and acceleration of object. Again, what I say? Net force acting on the object depends on the mass of the object and acceleration of the object. So this was Newton's second law of motion. Now we got it.